Mental health is a topic that is deservingly gaining more and more awareness. Newsline reporter Ju Juliet Favero gives us an inside look of the number of one mental health issue in Utah, postpartum depression. According to a study conducted by Term Life to Go, while other states' leading issues are internet addiction and anxiety, Utah's most prevalent mental health concern involves mothers. Brittany Lindsay, a mother of four living in Cedar Hills, Utah, recounts her experience with postpartum depression. So Ben and I had babies right off the bat. Arizona and Everlet are like our honeymoon babies. I just remember thinking like, I feel so inadequate. I, I feel like I'm failing these babies because I am just exhausted all the time and I'm looking at them, trying to love them like I know I should be loving them. I couldn't appreciate them. I loved them and I gave my all to them, but I couldn't appreciate the sweet newbornness or really the whole first year because um, it's survival mode. She says that while this can be hard to endure, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And one night I was driving through Spanish Ford Canyon and I remember just being like this close to driving off the cliff because I just didn't want to, I was so tired. I didn't like, like my life. I didn't even like myself. I didn't know myself anymore. I completely lost myself in taking care of these babies. Well, just because you're depressed for a certain amount of time in your life in that postpartum depression phase doesn't mean that you'll always be that way. Really, I don't know when it happened. I was just myself again, and it was awesome. For those suffering from postpartum depression, there is support in friends and family, Facebook groups and other online resources, and mental health professionals. Reach out, and they will help you. Reporting for Newsline and Provo, I'm Juliet Favero. If you are struggling with postpartum depression or with any other mental illness, you can call the Suicide Prevention Hotline at 1-800-273-8255.